I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about the Cooler Master Tempest GP27U in just five minutes. If you want loads more information and all our data, check out the link in the description below to our full review. The GP27U is a 27 inch size screen. It's got a 3840 by 2160 4K resolution IPS panel, a 160Hz refresh rate, and a high end 576 zone mini LED backlight. It's this mini LED backlight that separates it from the competition and provides a significantly improved HDR experience. Much more on that later. One thing that is really annoying on this screen is the on screen display menu. It's quite sluggish to use, but so many settings trigger the same annoying warning about power consumption. It's a wide gamut screen, so out of the box it has very vivid and saturated colours. Gamma setup is good, but the image is too cool, and this leads to an overly blue grayscale. It comes out of the box set to the cool colour temp mode, so it's probably not a surprise, but the main issue in this default mode is the low contrast ratio. Thankfully you can improve that easily in any of the other modes, and because of the very wide colour space, the accuracy of normal SDR colours is poor, as you'd expect. Thankfully, Cooler Master provide a decent sRGB emulation mode, with a good clamping of the smaller colour space, a good gamma, better white point and colour temp, better contrast ratio, and thanks to that smaller colour space, a nice accurate colour reproduction for SDR content. You still have access to the brightness control as well, thankfully, but that's about all you need to change. The 4K resolution provides a very sharp and crisp image for all uses, whether that's office work, gaming or videos. There's a USB Type-C connection with 90 watt power delivery, data and DisplayPort alt mode for a single cable connectivity from supported devices, as well as some USB ports, basic integrated speakers and a KVM function as well. For gaming, the screen combines 4K resolution with a high 160Hz max refresh rate. Adaptive Sync is supported for VRR from NVIDIA and AMD systems, although you can only use that up to 144Hz max. Response times are very good, and there's a nice single overdrive mode experience for VRR too. There's very good motion clarity with high refresh rate and fast pixel response times that keep up nicely. Input lag was also very low, which was great news. Console gaming support is pretty solid as well, with two HDMI 2.1 ports with the full 48 gigabits per second bandwidth. With the 4K resolution and the mini LED backlight, it's one of a small group of desktop monitors that could actually support decent HDR gaming. For HDR, the screen has a 576 zone mini LED backlight, which offers much better local dimming than the vast majority of so-called HDR monitors. Light areas can be brightened to very high peak brightness, while dark areas can be darkened very nicely. This creates a very good contrast and dynamic range. Blooming was also very low in our testing, and while very small highlights such as Christmas lights or star fields are always going to be a problem on a backlight like this, the overall performance in typical HDR games and videos was excellent. The default HDR setup was overly cool we found, but a few simple tweaks to the settings can deliver a nice setup with decent grayscale, white point, PQ curve and colour accuracy. Peak brightness does take a bit of a hit in this mode once you've corrected the white point and moved away from the cooler default setup, but it's still super bright for a desktop monitor. The only problem with HDR is that you can't use the local dimming feature at the same time as VRR adaptive sync at the moment. That means that for HDR gaming, you've either got to turn local dimming off, which then makes HDR pointless, or you've got to play without adaptive sync and all the benefits that VRR can offer. Thankfully, Cooler Master are planning to release a new firmware later this month that should address this issue and allow you to use both at the same time. Overall, we thought the GP27U was a very good screen. The 4K resolution combined with a 160Hz refresh rate is already an attractive option, but add to that a decent mini LED backlight and you've got superior HDR performance than you can get from most other screens. The retail price of only 800 US dollars MSRP is also very attractive. We've left links in the description below to check pricing and availability in your region, so check those out below. Please let us know in the comments below if you're thinking about buying this screen and what you think. Are you tempted to upgrade to a mini LED to improve your HDR gaming and your HDR movies? Also let us know in the comment section below what you think about this new quick five minute video format. Have you enjoyed it? If so, give us a like and don't forget to subscribe for future videos and updates. I'll see you next time.